Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best phone for live streaming. Starting at number 5. Apple iPhone 15. There are still just two lenses on the back of the iPhone 15, but they are not the same pair as you found on the iPhone 14. Okay, the 12MP ultrawide is basically the same, but the main camera is now the same 48MP lens that you'll find on the iPhone 14 Pro. That's not the same sensor as the larger one that now resides inside the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, mind. Even so, this is a significant upgrade from the iPhone 14's 12MP main camera, and all of the cameras are backed by the last-gen A16 Bionic and an upgraded image pipeline technology, photonic engine and computational photography, that affords a few cool, new photography features. Video quality is still excellent and you can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second. You'll enjoy shooting in cinematic mode, which lets you add a short focus effect to all your videos and choose which subject or object you want to focus on while you shoot. If you didn't like your initial choice, you can always edit and select a different focus subject. Low light photography is good and the 12MP true depth lens is an excellent selfie camera. Plus, you can transform virtually any selfie into portrait mode with a tap. Coming at number 4. Google Pixel 7a. Our favorite budget camera last year was the crab-pleasing Pixel 6a, but 2023's Pixel 7a was a huge upgrade for Google's bargain phone, especially in the camera. The Pixel 7a doesn't just pack more pixels, it has a much larger sensor than before, which means photos have more detail and look better even when there is less light. For special tricks, the Pixel 7a gets a long exposure mode that the Pixel 6a doesn't have. I enjoy shooting long exposures, as you can get some cool effects if you spot the right opportunity. The real magic happens in Google Photos, which gets special tools on Google Pixel phones with tensor chips inside. There aren't any new editing features found on the Pixel 7a that we haven't seen before, but it isn't missing anything, and these are the best and easiest on-device editing tools you'll find on a phone, short of an Adobe Creative Suite subscription. You can even fix old photos that you didn't take with the Pixel 7a, as long as they are uploaded to Google Photos. These photography tricks are one of the Pixel's biggest selling points. At number 3. Google Pixel 8 Pro. The main camera on the Pixel 8 Pro is considerably better than the camera on the Pixel 7 Pro, but the improvements can be hard to explain. The lens on the camera has a f 1.65 aperture, which is wider than the f 1.9 aperture in last year's lens, and while the number is lower, a wider aperture is better because it lets in more light, and the improvement is exponential and not linear. The f 1.65 lens on the Pixel 8 Pro is an amazing feat, while the f 1.9 aperture on last year's Pixel 7 Pro was a thoroughly unimpressive spec. See, the numbers are confusing, and it's just not an easy spec to boast about. The iPhone 15 Pro uses an f 1.8 lens on its main camera, which won't let as much light through, but of course there are plenty of other factors to consider. Compared to my iPhone 15 Pro Max, some photos looked better when shot with the Pixel 8 Pro, but others, especially night pics and low-light images, looked better taken with the iPhone. That's surprising, but there are still some reasons for Google to brag. Number 2 of my list iPhone 15 Pro Max This was the year that Apple embraced Zoom, with periscope technology that folded lenses and mirrors to give us real, 5x optical zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Unfortunately, the iPhone 15 Pro got left behind with less range, but that makes the iPhone 15 Pro Max the easier choice if you want the best iPhone camera, hands down. The big iPhone 15 Pro Max doesn't just get superior zoom range, it also uses a 6-axis stabilizer, which can move in any direction to keep the camera steady while you're taking photos or shooting video. It makes a big difference, especially when you zoom in all the way. For every type of photography, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a great improvement over past iPhone cameras, and it holds its own against any other smartphone you can buy. For video recording, the iPhone 15 Pro Max truly excels.
It has dynamic range and a level of detail and quality that are unparalleled, especially when you are recording in Apple's ProRes format at the highest resolution and frame rate. It may not be quite as versatile as Samsung's overstuffed Galaxy S23 Ultra, and Apple doesn't give us all the fun shooting modes in which Samsung indulges, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a high-quality, reliable camera that can shoot great photos and amazing video in any situation. And number 1. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the reigning best camera phone because of its incredible versatility. It has so many lenses and photo modes that it can shoot anything. From food portraits to night photos to ultra zoom shots, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is always a little better than everything else. Of course, rumors suggest the follow-up Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra will be released this month, so we may see a shakeup on this list sooner than later. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to keep many of the same specs, with a few key differences. The big 200MP sensor will be the newest version, of course. More importantly, the ultra zoom camera may use a much larger sensor with a slightly shorter zoom. We are very curious how that trade-off pans out in image quality. As for our best overall camera phone, the Galaxy S23 Ultra simply excels. Let the camera do as much of the work as you please, you'll always appreciate the results. Whether it's food mode, portraits, night photography, or the Ultra's unmatched astrophotography modes, you won't find a better all-around camera phone on the market. At least, not yet. If you really want to see something impressive, set up a tripod and take some photos of the moon. Do it in a public place where iPhone owners can walk by. When they see what the moon looks like on your Samsung's camera, they'll be shocked. I promise, I've done this a few times myself. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.